Either for For this episode, we've prepared an interesting and sticky experiment. I've got me a load of chewing gum, a good 600 packets of it. The packets contain 10 chews each, or a grand total of 6,000 of them. We're going to have to chew through everything we've got to make us a wheel. Okay, let's get to the chewing, and then we'll piece together a tire for a car. Let's go. Be advised, you might not want to watch this while eating. Here's how this is going to be done. You come up here, grab some gum, chew it, spit it out, and carefully just stick it to this like so. We'll have people walking by, grabbing gum and chewing it, sticking it on, and in the end we should have a tire. Chew. Check this out, I'm going to make this super easy. Watch and learn. Carefully chew each and every one of them. We'll see what he has to say after six or seven packets. What do you want? Put that away, I don't want any. Five minutes later. <laughs> Hmm, haven't tried this flavor yet. Mm. Now this is banana and strawberries, and I love bananas as a pause. Check this out, guys. We've been at this for a few days, chewing the gum and sticking it on like so. We've got lines to the bathroom. It's as if they've added laxatives to this stuff. Eh, who knows, maybe that's actually true. But let's keep on chewing. My fifth packet. Yeah, that should do. Well, I've chewed my share. I cannot keep doing this. My jaw is literally giving up. Are you chewing gum? I am chewing gum. What are you up to? By packet three or four, you're no longer enjoying it. Go right ahead and help yourself, bro, by all means. Okay, so we need to... well, I've been assigned some homework. They gave me a box of gum, and I need to chew through all of it. Have some. This seemed kind of fun initially, until I had about this much. It feels like I've had a ton of them. They're super sweet, and I can't stand the taste at this point. I feel like I'll never have gum ever again after this is over. This is hazardous stuff. Okay guys, so this isn't going all that well to be honest. You see, we've gone through this much gum, we've also bought this stuff with a different taste, but that was not of much help to us. Day 3 of chewing, 
Everybody's jaws are aching. I have a feeling that none of us will ever be chewing gum after this. So we'll be looking for alternative methods to soften the gum and uh, get rid of the sugar or the artificial sweetener. Whatever is in there. To get it from a sort of hard consistency to soft and malleable, as if somebody had been chewing on it for half an hour. Yeah, we're all pretty much depleted, so it's time to find another way to go about this. Let's go! This gum is making me sick. When I walk past, I try not to get too close, because immediately I start feeling as if I'm going to throw up just from that smell. There we have the gum, and there is actually quite a lot of it on there. Let's do some finishing touches, then fit the wheel to a car and see how it's going to behave. Using such a wide wheel might have been a mistake. Should have gone with a space saver. We are going to now fold the tread over to one side of the wheel, which is going to give us more sidewall. And hopefully that will make for a tire that actually performs its functions. Okay guys, we are currently outside, the weather is quite chilly, and here we have the wheel. We fitted it to a car, and why don't we go ahead and test it? Problem is I can't see anything, but we should be alright. I would really like to have a look. Okay, let's go! Yeah, there we are. So far so good? We've traveled 20 mil, that's already a success. Oh, check that out! What's up? Talk about stickiness, the snow is sticking to the... Well, of course! It's sugar-free, so obviously the snow is going to stick to it very well. No, actually, we couldn't have extracted all of the sugar. What's going on? Yeah, that's a wrap. We were destined for failure from the very beginning, it would seem. Just two meters in. I did say you shouldn't chew too thoroughly and leave a bit of sugar in there. No, tooth decay. But it did take everybody's fillings out, that's for sure. But we're looking good here. It's all the sugar-free orbit's fault. What a shame. We ready to finish recycling it? The gum began to stick to the rubble and just sent it flying. It almost bombarded the other cars. Holy cow. So chewing gum isn't really all that safe, it appears. It presents a hazard to the pebbles, nearby people, cars, your stomach, joints, because your knees start hurting. Your teeth, though there might be some other reason for the knee pain. And just your health overall. And so there's the experiment. This one was just for shits and giggles. But in this application, chewing gum is fairly useless. As a tire and for your teeth. And especially for your stomach. So chew gum in moderation, that's it for this video, catch you guys later.